Darren, Marshall made the team. You went to the tryouts today. Yes, and Coach Gribben says he's going to be a triple threat man. You know what that means? I certainly do. It means all three of us are in trouble when his mother finds out. Oh, I should think she'd be proud of him. I was, and you would have been too. <laughs> you should have seen Gladys Kravitz. Her nephew's the star of the team. Up until now, that is. Just how much did you have to do with the uh, athletic awakening of Marshall Burns? I just gave him confidence. What else did you give him? What else is there? Oh, well, there's, uh, that, and there's, uh, that, and probably a few other rituals I'm not familiar with yet. Oh, Darren, really? Oh, Darren, really, yes, or oh, Darren, really, no? Because if you did, Samantha, you did that kid a big disservice. He's playing in the opening game tomorrow. Sam, you can't follow that kid around the rest of his life wiggling and twitching at him. <laughs> You've given him false security. I just tried to get him started. Then after he plays with a team for a while, he'll have a chance to practice and improve, and he'll get his confidence back, and he won't need me anymore. But, Sam, suppose it doesn't work that way. Suppose the poor... What's that? It's the backyard gate. Someone's in the yard. I'll go with you. Oh, hi, Miss Stevens. What are you doing here? Running away from home. Why? Oh, because it's a big, wide, wonderful world. With lots of places to see and things to do. <laughs> My mother won't let me play on the team. Well, why not? Oh, bats get thrown, the ball is hard, the grass is wet, the sun is hot. <laughs> okay, I get the picture. Let's go. Where are we going? Inside, to call his mother, so she can come and take him home. Where's Marshall? He's perfectly all right. He's in the den watching television. I thought it might give us a chance to talk, Mrs. Burns. I don't know how he got out of the house. What's he doing here? He was running away, Mrs. Burns. Running away? Why? Because you've got him wrapped in cotton batting and he's smothering, that's why. Samantha, Mrs. Burns may be a very cautious and concerned mother, but... Concerned? Well, I don't understand either one of you. If you were really concerned, you'd know how important it is for a boy his age to have friends, to be part of a gang, to be accepted. You should have seen his little face shining when he told me he'd made that team. It made me want to cry. Samantha, I've told you not to interfere. Mrs. Burns has every right to choose her boy's activities. Well, thank you, Mr. Stevens. I'm glad to see that you understand. I certainly do. You've got to watch these kids every minute. And uh, incidentally, I'd have that trellis removed from the side of the house. Trellis? Yes, he told us that's how he got out. Climbing down that fragile trellis? Oh, no, I can't believe it. Well, it's a favorite means of escape for most boys. He used it myself. Oh, well, that's very kind of you to let me know. I'll have it removed immediately. Traitor. Of course, it might be easier if you put locks on his windows. Locks? Probably be cheaper, too. And a lock on his door with only one key. That way, it'd be impossible for him to get out again. I don't think that will be necessary. Well, there's no sense taking chances. When a boy feels like a prisoner, he'll do anything to get out again. Oh, uh, incidentally, I'd do what I could to keep him out of the kitchen. Very dangerous room, the kitchen. Oh, well, Marshall doesn't spend much time there anyway. I mean, there's so few things he can eat, it hardly seems worthwhile. Mrs. Stevens. Oh, in the bathroom. Worst room in the whole house. Wouldn't have one in our home. Too dangerous. Even worse than baseball. That's not at all I'm going to listen to. Thank you. Marshall! Mrs. Burns. Please, don't get angry. What we were trying to say, that you can't protect anyone from everything. Mr. Stevens, and I'll ask you for the last time, stay away from my little boy, you hear me? You stay away from him, or I'll... I'll report you both to the authorities. Come on, Marshal, we're going home. <laughs> 